All right, we're going to use wild gears here to do a wheel within a wheel, which is just about my favorite thing to do with wild gears. Now, I've, I'm using putty here. This is poster putty, blue tack or post it or, or hold it. It's got different names. It's the same as the Spirograph putty, the Spiro putty in the new versions of Spirograph. And here I have a ring which has 140 teeth on the inside. So press it down firmly. And now I have a wheel with 135 teeth. This is very close to the 140. So you have to put the wheel right in. You really have to drop it down into the mesh of the teeth in the ring. And within this wheel, there is a smaller ring of 60 teeth. And I'm going to use another wheel, which has 48 teeth. Inside this ring, inside the wheel. And I'm just going to line them all up here and with my and I'm going to make a little mark just to remember where I was in case I make a mistake. So now I have a wheel within a ring, which is part of a wheel within a larger ring. Here we go. Put my pen in the tip, in the outermost hole. And you see the small wheel is going around inside the larger ring and making quite small loops because it doesn't have a lot of room to move. And the whole thing is precessing around the space in the larger wheel. This is, this is quite incredible, I find. <laughs> Fascinating. And I would like to know what the math of it is. How many loops? And how soon before you get back to the beginning? There we go. That off. I think that's amazing. So let's try it with a different with a different wheel. So in the previous design, it was wheel number 48 inside hole number 60, which is inside wheel number 135, which is inside 140. I'm just going to line the first wheel up to my the same mark I left in the last one. And this time I'm going to use wheel number 24, around wheel number 24 and see, we'll see what it looks like compared to this design. So 24, the inner wheel now is 24 and the other one was 48. So mathematically, you'd think there'd be some similarity between the two designs. So let's see what we get. And you see the smaller wheel now can move much more freely inside uh, we, uh, wheel number 60. So it's not making tight loops. Will it make the same number of loops? What will we get? Now see the, the whole number 60 has to precess all the way around in the circle. So right now the small wheel is creating a pattern inside that hole as we precess all around the circle. Is it a similar number of loops? to that.
that while we take a look. The only thing I changed was I moved to a wheel with half the number of teeth. So this time I'm going to use a larger ring. This ring has 180 teeth in the inside. And again, using the same kind of putty, blue tack or poster putty or spiral putty. I'm also going to use the same inner wheel with 135 teeth. So I'll just start it here and just make a mark here in case I need to come back so I can remember where I lined up. And this time I'm going to use a Wild Gears <laughs> wheel that's slightly triangular. It has 27 teeth and it's slightly triangular. Let's see, I'm going to use this. I'm going to line it up this way from the flatter side of the triangle lined up with these two spots here. Just in case I need to come back, in case I make a mistake, this line will allow me to reposition it and pick up from where I started perhaps and go in the other direction. That might help me get back to the starting point. So here we go. Now you see the triangular wheel kind of creates not as smooth a line. Although there is a pattern to it. It sort of goes boom, boom, boom. And compared to using the smaller outer wheel, this time wheel number 135, the larger wheel here, has more freedom to move around the large ring. So, and it comes back to the same place except it's a little different. Oh no! So I messed that up because this came unattached. So I'm just going to go back to where I started and hope that I don't make the same mistake three times. I'm going to go in the other direction this time. Okay, so see it's making four rings interconnecting in a kind of Celtic knot. And that, there, I got back to the same, <laughs> same place. And here's the design. So it's like kind of like a Celtic knot. 